Rashi Lang versus Hazmat Shemaev? All right. First and foremost, I want to say this. I think that Shemaev has the possibility to be the UFC's next greatest star. He really does. This guy is an absolute beast. Um, what he did to Gerald Mearshart should be – he should be in jail for that. Um, and he's taking on Li Jiang Lang, who is no fucking joke, which is why I'm puzzled to see that Li Jiang Lang is like a plus 380 underdog in this fight. That should not be the case. That should not be the case at all. Um, you know I love hype trains. You know what gets me going. I love Hamzat Chimaev. Li Jialang just came off of a knockout win over Santiago Ponzinibbio, which was very impressive, by the way. Now he's fighting Chimaev, and it's like, these odds makers really think that Chimaya is just going to steamroll him when, in, in fact, Jianlang is no joke. But here's how the, I think the fight's going to go. I think that Chimaev is going to have to go into the second round this time. It's not going to be an easy first round finish for him or anything. I think he's going to take Jianlang. I think he's going to bring him down to the ground and he's just going to do the smash. He's going to just smash him for the first round. He probably smashes him for the second round. But Jian Lang is too fucking tough, and he hangs in there for the – he hangs in there. And um, if Chemayev's gas tank is in any way, shape, or form not good, we could see a real, real problem here. But um, I'm going to take Chemayev by unanimous decision – but I don't think that he's going to knock out Li Jianlang. He is no fucking joke. Um, Li Jianlang is the truth, actually. So it's a tough one. It really is a tough one. This fight should be about even. Like oh, when it comes when it comes to the odds, I think it should be near even. Right. It's a close one, but I'm gonna I'm gonna ride with. Hamza Chmaev, you know I love him. It's hard not to. This guy just wants to fight. Yeah. Um, I'm actually uh, I'm gonna start with the leech in this one. UFC veteran, low key UFC veteran, and has a ten and four UFC record. And six out of his last, I mean, yeah, six out of his last eight fights have been either fight of the night or performance of the night. The guy puts on shows, and like. Right. He's, and like you said, he's got a stellar chin. He's never been knocked out in the UFC out of 14 UFC fights. He's been subbed once, but the, the other two, uh, the other three were unanimous and split decisions. So you can't blame him for that, for that, considering that he's been in the UFC since 2014. He has a plus 0.85 striking differential, 42% accuracy, 1.3 takedowns for fight at 40% accuracy, only 60% takedown defense. So that's something big to take into consideration considering that he's fighting Hazmat Shemaev who three and O in the UFC since making his debut only in July 15th of 2020 very recently and already has become like a legend name almost yeah um all three performance of the nights all finishes all of his fights have been finishes um like you said I don't think he's able I I don't think he's able to KO Lee, but I would not be surprised if he, if there's a TKO in this. Uh, I don't think Lee goes out. Here's, I, here's the one way he does it. Here's the one way he does it. One. Back up a little bit. He, he, watching his tape, he has done this so many times. He did it to GM3 and his foot knocked him out. He goes, he faints a shot and then comes up over with a right hand. And that drops people. He's done it throughout his entire career and it's given him nothing but success. So I could see one of those clipping, Lee. And I um I could totally see that. You, you know, you never know. But I if that doesn't happen, Shemaev's takedowns are relentless and 
um, Lee's takedown defense is subpar. So that is going to be the difference maker in this fight. I'm going 100%. I am going Hazmat Shemaev. The odds reflect it. I do agree with those odds, Dan. I don't think that this is a closer fight than in my head. I, this is very one-sided. But we're both going to agree. We're both going to go Hazmat Shemaev, right? Nishiyang Lang is ranked number nine in the world or something. Something like that. You think Shemaev can just take that step up that easily? I think he can. I hope I, I would love to see it. I I think that we're all gonna see it. You know. I mean, Chemayev is no fucking joke, guys. Like he really isn't. Yeah, he's a scary dude. This is hit and he's fighting at 170, and that guy is a 185. <laughs> you know what I mean? He and fights at both. He doesn't give a fuck. I know, but he's huge at 170. Yeah, so absolutely huge. Li Shi Lang, also a big dude, though. You know, I can't take that away from him. But uh, yeah, we're both going to agree on this one, right, Dan? Yeah. Both going to go Hazmat Shemaev. Yeah.